Hello, I'm going to show you how to do a hip carry using a podagi. So a podagi is basically a long front panel at the front and you've got very long straps as well. This one is made from a woven wrap and you can spread the shoulder which is nice and comfortable. They're really great if you find that woven wraps are just not for you because they're a little bit easier to work with but you can do pretty much the same as what you can do with a woven. So I'm going to do a Robin's hip carry. So this works better for babies who have quite good head control and will become quite curious. They want to look around, they want to see the world a bit more. So by bringing them to the hip, we give them a little bit more visibility. So I'm going to bring my baby onto my knee like this. So if you can do that, put your leg up. It's quite a handy way to start. I bring the top panel to the neck, like this, and then I'm going to bring one strap around my back, like so. Make sure it's not folded or twisted. Bring it over your opposite shoulder, and then you're going to bring the other strap over, like this. Start by gathering the seat a little bit, so moving the fabric away from the knees like that and tighten. And then basically we're going to bring this strap across the other strap, pull the other strap down to tighten and then we're going to bring it under and over and then flip over your shoulder. Like so it works a little bit like a ring sling. You could even use a sling ring if you want. A little bit of movement like this and then we're going to close the carry so I'm going to bring this strap across and pin it between my knees this one I'm going to bring it over my back spread as much as you can so you're using your back to support the weight tighten so pull away and then bring it at the knee you can spread it out here as well give you a little bit more support and lift the weight I'm going to grab out the strap Move the fabric away from the knees and then I'm going to bring it over, open up a little bit and then cross under the bum. Make sure you keep your tension the whole time, it's very important. And then I can either come here and tie, depending on how long the straps are, you can basically just tie wherever you want. Just make sure you do a double knot. So I'm just going to tie around my back. So they are out of the way. Like this, always do a double knot. And then I'm just going to readjust my shoulder now, so I'm going to spread it as much as I can, so it's nice and comfortable. And there you go. And you can even spread your patties as much as you can. Totally up to you, to give you more support. This gives my baby a bit more visibility, so my baby can look around, you can have arms out as well. It's quite versatile. Uh, and no, you're not carrying all the weight on one shoulder. You're using your tummy muscle, your shoulder, and your back to carry the weight. And it's nice and comfortable, and you can still talk to your baby. And there you go. So, to take my baby out, I'm just always supporting. I'm going to start undoing my knot here. And just basically reverse everything you've done. Always one hand on baby. And then you can just pin here. And then very gently take your baby out. Over, like this. There you go, happy baby. Thank you for watching.